In today's video, I show you five foods you can start eating right now to improve your kidney health and to lower creatinine levels. I'm a kinesis patient, just like you, and the foods I show you today are what I've actually eaten to reverse my kinesis and to go from stage four to stage three. Hello, my name is Tony Bennett and this is Double O Kidney. I know that you were hoping to see Catherine today, but you are going to have to settle for me instead. <laughs> now, if I'm here is because I have to tell you something that could be both interesting and useful for you. If you have chronic disease, knowing the right foods to eat is paramount in helping you fight and beat kinesis. Now, I'm not a doctor, I'm just a patient fighting kinesis just like you. When my doctor diagnosed me with uh, kinesis stage 4, one of the first things he told me to do was to change my diet. Actually, I was between stage 4 and stage 5 of chronic kinesis just two years ago. I was just 41 when I was diagnosed and I was so scared. Now I'm in stage 3 and my creatinine is still going down. I have to thank for this incredible achievement a big step up I did with my lifestyle and diet. Actually, eating the superfoods of today's video was one of the things that helped me the most in reversing my kidney disease. Okay, okay, I won't keep boring you with my story. So let's start with the top five. In my opinion, these are the healthiest foods for people with kidney disease and every patient should eat them at least weekly to lower creatinine levels. All right, it is the number five of our top five, one of the healthiest foods for you, your kidney diet. This is especially true if you're in uh, stage four and five. I'll explain why in a moment. And it is beans. Yeah, talking about unusual foods for kidney patients. Now, wait a minute before going straight to the comment section and start telling me that beans are uh, rich in phosphorus uh, and potassium for a renal diet. Yes, I know that beans are usually not recommended for uh, people with kidney disease, but they could be really, really healthy. And actually, there's a way to eat them, even if you're in stage four or five. The point here is that beans and legumes have some benefits for the health of your kidneys, so good that it is worth the effort to find a way to still eat them. Here are some of the amazing benefits of beans. Beans are a nutrient-dense food. Nutrient-dense means that they contain a lot of vital nutrients, including folate, zinc, iron, fiber, and magnesium. Fact, people with kidney disease often have imbalanced magnesium levels, since the kidneys are involved in the regulation of uh, the levels of magnesium in the body. Beans are rich in antioxidants, especially in uh, polyphenols. They fight the effects of free radicals, which are the chemicals that affect a wide range of uh, processes in the body. Beans might improve your heart health. A recent study found out a clear correlation between eating beans and a reduced risk of coronary heart disease. Other researches suggest that beans may even lower cholesterol. High cholesterol is uh, a risk factor for uh, heart disease and chronic kidney disease. Now, beans can be helpful in controlling appetite. The fiber and healthy starches in beans can help uh, preventing food cravings. People may feel uh, fuller after uh, consuming beans, which may prevent overeating and even help with weight loss. Now, I kept the best for last. Beans help stabilizing blood glucose levels. This is really important for people with kidney disease, since diabetes is the number one cause of kidney disease. Having too much sugar in the blood, to put it in a really simple way, can damage your kidneys. Now, Beans and uh, legumes contain a large amount of uh, carbohydrates, but these are good carbs. 
they act very differently on our blood sugar and insulin levels compared to other carbohydrate sources. If you combine meats with high glycemic foods like white rice, pasta, bread, you can actually blunt the spike in blood sugar and insulin levels that these foods would have caused. Now, if you're in stage 3, you can eat white beans, black beans, uh, kidney beans, you can have a wide selection. Your kidneys should be able to filter out the potassium and phosphorus in them good enough. People in uh, stage 5 and often even in stage 4 need a very different approach to their renal diet since they have to be really careful with these minerals. But I'll say that this superfood is uh, good even uh, for uh, people in stage 5, right? How is this possible? Well, not all beans are rich in uh, potassium and phosphorus. Uh, there are a lot of very healthy legumes low in potassium you can eat to get all these benefits. Green beans, fava beans, green peas, garbanzo beans, even black beans are medium in uh, potassium and uh, can be eaten once in a while if potassium is under control. But avoid white beans, navy beans, white kidney and lima beans and other high potassium legumes. Another concern is phosphorus. Phosphorus in beans is uh, not completely absorbed by the body, just 50% usually. Okay, let's see our number four. Some people think that this is the healthiest superfood in the world and they may be right. For sure it's delicious and can be included in any kidney diet. I eat this one almost every day for breakfast and it uh, really helped me a lot in going from uh, stage four to stage three. The number four on our top five of the healthiest superfood for renal diet is blueberries. Now, what are the benefits for our kidney health of this superfood? Blueberries are the king of antioxidant foods. They have the highest antioxidant capacity of all fresh fruits and this is the source of most of their health benefits. Really, really useful for the health of our kidneys. Blueberries improve immunity. They are very rich in uh, antioxidants like uh, anthocyanin, vitamin C, B-complex, vitamin E, copper, selenium, zinc and iron. So they boost up your immune system and prevent infections. With a stronger immune system, you're less likely to catch colds and fever and uh, seasonal flu. Blueberries protect against oxidative damage. And these antioxidants also mean that this superfood can uh, protect our bodies against oxidative damage done by free radicals. Oxidative stress is what's actually causing cancer and aging. They protect heart health. Now, another benefit of antioxidants is their protection against the oxidation of LDL cholesterol. This plays a crucial role in the heart disease process. So, blueberries are very good for your heart health and subsequently for your kidney health. Remember that the kidneys and the heart are part of the same system. You cannot get back any kidney function if your uh, cholesterol is not under control. Blueberries have anti-diabetes effect. There's a bit of sugar in uh, blueberries, but the bioactive compounds in them appear to outweigh any negative impact of the sugar when it comes to blood sugar control. Researchers suggest that anthocyanins in uh, blueberries make the superfood so effective on uh, insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. They can fight UTIs. Urinary tract infections are a less common cause of kidney disease. Blueberries are closely related to cranberries and they boast many of the same active compounds as cranberries. Now, I want to focus on the antioxidant properties of blueberries for a moment because that's uh, what can actually help us in fighting kidney disease. Blueberry is one of the ultimate superfoods because remember this, if you want to fight kidney disease and disease in general, you need more antioxidants and you need to 
to lower inflammation. Those are some of the key factors your body needs in uh, fighting diseases. And blueberries are the king of antioxidants. Another thing I want to mention, while then organic blueberries tend to have three times the antioxidants as conventional blueberries. So going organic is actually worth the price of it when you're buying blueberries or buying fruit in general. These are the foods we should be having in our diets every single week. Now, if you know people who would benefit from an improvement in their kidney function, send them this video now. Help them by sharing this message. Time for our number three. The superfood is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids. It's rich in antioxidants, provides fiber, iron and calcium. It is chia seeds. Let's see the benefits of chia seeds so I can show you why having more omega-3s is so important for people suffering from chronic disease. Chia seeds are rich in fiber. Easy. Fact. The lesser diet is too poor in fiber and this can cause more inflammation in the kidneys. Adding more fiber to the diet will help improving kidney function. Blood sugar regulation. All foods that can help lowering glucose levels should be more present in the renal diet of people with kidney disease. In particular, chia seeds can even reduce insulin resistance. Can be digested whole. Unlike flax seeds, another very healthy source of omega 3s, chia seeds don't need to be grounded to be digested. Good for healthy cooking. They can also be used to replace eggs in baked goods and other preparations. Uh, they form a gel in water. Using this gel instead of eggs can lower the cholesterol in your diet and increase the nutrient content. So if you have a recipe and you're wanting to go egg free, because eggs are so often connected to food allergies and food sensitivities, do one tablespoon of uh, chia seeds to three tablespoons of uh, water. Mix that and it can replace an egg in any recipe. Very useful also for vegan cooking. Very rich in omega 3s. Chia seeds are one of the richest plant based sources of omega 3s. The lipid profile of uh, chia seeds is composed of 60% of omega 3s. Now, this benefit alone is worth including them in uh, your renal diet. Why? Adding omega 3s to my diet was maybe the best thing I've ever done to improve my kidney health. Omega 3s provide a host of uh, multiple health benefits for uh, patients with advanced kidney disease. Omega 3s have been found by recent studies to be able to lower hypertension as much as uh, lifestyle changes such as uh, exercising more, cutting back on salt or limiting alcohol. But most of all, they have been proven to actually lower creatinine levels in uh, people with kidney disease. So adding omega 3s rich foods is a must for anyone with kidney disease in my opinion. Now, was adding these foods alone enough to reverse my kidney disease? Absolutely not. I needed a lot more than uh, adding some superfoods to my diet to change how things were going for me. I had to change my diet completely and to do several improvements in my lifestyle. But adding these foods still helped a lot because basing a good renal diet on uh, healthy superfoods you can actually eat is a lot better than basing a diet on what you cannot eat. I mean, when I talked to a dietitian for the first time, he started telling me not to eat this, not to eat that. Okay, I know that a lot of food should be avoided by people with kinesis, but preparing a meal knowing only what to avoid is uh, basically impossible. But I'm digressing, so let's move on with our top five. We are at uh, number two. This superfood is rich in vitamin C, beta-carotene, 
and flavonoids and has a very powerful effect on uh, kine health that not many people know about but it's one of the foods that helped me the most in uh, lowering my creatinine I'm eating it every day mostly I'm juicing it and I drink it first thing in the morning it is celery okay a lot of vegetables today who could that get that I needed to eat more vegetables to get my kidney health back now why is celery so healthy let's talk about the health benefits of uh, this superfood it lowers the inflammation celery has approximately 25 anti-inflammatory compounds that can offer protection against inflammation in the body now as you can see some of these benefits are not specific for kidney patients so maybe you could tell me i have kidney problems i don't care about inflammation i just want to improve my kidney health well this is not how the human body works it's not a sack of separated organs that work for themselves it's a system that's supposed to work as one for example kidney health and heart health are strictly connected these organs work together to keep you healthy when one is affected the other one is too in other words your heart can affect the health of your kidneys and uh, your kidneys can affect the health of your heart you cannot have healthy kidneys if your uh, heart is struggling in the same way lowering the inflammation in the body is a great way to improve kidney health remember kidney disease is an inflammatory disease so anti-inflammatory foods can help uh, lowering the stress on the kidneys celery supports digestion pectin based polysaccharides in uh, celery including a compound known as uh, apumen have been shown to decrease instances of uh, stomach ulcers improve the lining of the stomach and modulate the stomach secretions celery is a source of important antioxidant celery contains uh, vitamin c beta carotene and flavonoids but there are at least 12 additional kinds of uh, antioxidants and nutrients found in a single stalk it's also a wonderful source of uh, phytonutrients which have been shown to lower instances of inflammation in uh, the digestive tract cells blood vessels and organs celery has an alkalizing effect okay this is maybe the best benefit celery has for people with kidney disease the alkalizing effect and as i was saying not a lot of people know about this but how does it work fact the kidney is the organ that's actually supposed to keep the acid alkaline balance of the body Every, everything we eat can be acidifying or alkalizing now foods like meat poultry fish dairy eggs grains alcohol are considered acidifying so the more you eat them the more the kidneys need to work to keep the balance these are some of the foods that uh, people eat the most now what gets more acidic when you eat those foods are just the urine not the blood the body must always maintain its homostasis it cannot become more acidic so what organ is going to remove this excess of acid from the body you guessed it the kidneys and this is a lot of work for the kidneys especially when they are already impaired now celery is the most alkalizing food you can find it and it will greatly lower the burden on your kidneys okay let's see our number one the superfood is proven to lower the risk of several chronic diseases including kidney disease it's also known to improve heart health and to fight anemia which often can cause fatigue in kidney disease patients now before i show you the number one healthy food for kidney disease that's something i want to tell you about a lot of people think that reversing kidney disease is impossible but i can tell you that this is not true i've done it 
and I'm absolutely not the first person to do it. Watch this video to know more about how to reverse kidney disease. And our number one is eggplant. The superfood is so healthy. The vitamin and mineral content of eggplant is quite extensive. Uh, there are great sources of vitamin C, vitamin K, and even more. Want to know everything about the benefits of eggplant? Watch this video now.